peso, girl. Hi. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video was not planned. Um, I literally just got back from work and have a new rescue that I brought home today and wanted to talk to you about it. Um, she is a tarantula and yeah. Basically, I just wanted to talk about the animals you can get into rescues like tarantulas. Yes, you can rescue tarantulas. Surprise, they also get neglected. And um, I also wanted to just show you our new little gal. She is a rose hair, so she's a Grandma Starla Porteri. Um, she's a skinny gal, so hopefully we can get some food in her. And I do have pictures of the old enclosure. Um, I did rehouse her whilst I was at work when she came into the rescue, so she is in a much better, in much much better enclosure now. Um, but yes, I have got pictures, which I'm going to put now. Oh, yeah in the pictures you can see vivariums <sighs> they're not best for tarantulas I know I tried it I tried putting my tarantula in a vivarium and it just wasn't right I thought I was giving her more space when really it didn't give her enough space to work with substrate and they're just they're just not ideal in my opinion um so yeah she was in a three foot by 15 inch uh vivarium and you can see in the pictures there was not enough substrate there was barely enough substrate to even cover the whole floor and being a grammar starla they need that substrate they do like to hide and um it, it was not good there was no water in that bowl she was so thirsty when we gave her water and i'm really sorry if you can hear bentley being disgusting disgusting um, but yeah, basically I just wanted to jump on and show you the new member. We've renamed her QT, as in like, the letters, because she's just so cute. Um, she is the sweetest, compared to Triangle, our grandma stole La Porteri, who just threat poses me every time I open his tank. Um, she's really, really sweet. Her name was Beauty previously, and um, yeah, let's... Let's just move away from the French Bulldog making horrific sounds, chewing his Kong, and let's go show you the tarantula. Okay, so this is Cutie in her new tank. So there she is. Um, by the way, I say she, the previous owners told us that, that, that it was a she, but I will not say that until I have sexed her myself, because you never know. But here she is. Let's move that. Uh, are you actually kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, so here she is. Um, Grandma Starla Porteri. There she is. She is so stunning. She's not shown any signs of defensiveness since we have got her. I rehoused her. Um, and she was so calm, so sweet. Um, she's never, she's not fret prosed so far, and she hasn't tried kicking any hairs. I'm sorry, she's trying to get the focusing. Um, but yes, so let's talk about the enclosure quickly. So you saw what her old enclosure was like, and it was not ideal. And I just popped her in a very, very simple enclosure that would be okay for her to be rehomed because I set this up before I decided I was going to take her home. So this is a Komodo um, enclosure. I haven't measured it but I will and pop that on the screen. But all I did was fill as much as I could. Um, I had some spare um, earth mix. So yes, so the substrate is Arcadia earth mix. Um, it's quite dry. It will dry out a little bit more. It's a little bit more moist than a Rose would like it, hence why she's sitting on the side of the tank, but I think once she's in a heated room this will dry out and she'll prefer it much more. The bowl has also spilt during the journey here, but she has this cork bark with a nice big hide. She's got this uh, greenery here just to make it look a little bit nicer, some wood over there and then a bowl over here. Very simple. Um, I tried to fill it as much as I could 
with substrate that we had on hand because obviously we did not plan on a tarantula coming in. Um, but yeah, this side does have mesh ventilation. Now I know some people are against mesh. Now I didn't take this enclosure home for a couple of weeks simply because of that, but this is all we had on hand for a tarantula. It isn't that bad. I am gonna keep an eye on her. She hasn't got stuck to this so far and she hasn't been clinging on to it. This is Simps. Uh, we drove her home. Um, but yeah, she she's okay. <laughs> I just I'm just a little bit like I want her to get a feed. She's she's just you know, the enclosure she came from was just not ideal. But I am gonna keep an eye on her, make sure her little feet aren't getting stuck. If so, I'm gonna get some like sort of plastic to put there and I will tarantula proof that. So anyone about to like attack me for using uh, mesh, mesh on my tank, please go away. Thank you very much. Also, my neighbors' kids are watching me right now. I literally have five kids watching me just film my tarantula enclosure I feel like a complete weirdo <laughs> but yeah this is cutie this is her enclosure it's a very basic video I just wanted you guys to see her um, this is our new member you will get to see her um, improve hopefully over time when she can gain a bit more weight and hopefully she'll molt with us so we can sex her um, but yeah this is an enclosure this is suitable obviously you could probably go a little bit more substrate but this is all tarantulas need is a hide, some good thick substrate, and a water bowl, and air ventilation. That's it. Also, I want to mention, if she starts climbing too high, I will raise this substrate because I don't want her to fall, but at the moment, she's okay. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to show you kind of enclosures that aren't really benefiting tarantulas versus an enclosure that would, like the one I've popped her in. I also wanted to show you what you can find in rescues because I work at a rescue and you'd be so surprised on the species we find. 90% of my animals are rescues. If anything you find is cool, it's most likely come from a rescue. So always check your local rescue shelters, adopt, don't shop and all that crap. But thank you guys for watching, I hope to see you soon because the next video is a really exciting video. It's gonna be a long one, but it's really informative and it's gonna be all about um, why I give my snakes UV. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see that. Like, comment down below any videos you wanna see next week and yeah, bye guys. Bentley, honestly, you're so gross. Look at this dog. Sir, excuse, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Indy, what the hell? Hi, ow, ow, my hair. Oh my god, my hair, ow, thank you.